Hello and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm the Imperial. This is Crusader Kings 3, where I try to teach you the game as I play it. Uh, this is a Twitch live stream, so if you ever want to catch me over there, come, go over there, follow, and join me. Granted, the stream today is a little bit late to what it should have been, because, well, we're approaching the new year. People have stuff to do. We are at war with Denmark. We started over in Alba, in Ireland, uh, over here in Ormond, I think, or in Ossery, I'm not quite sure, don't remember. We have been such a powerful world stage player now for such a long time that it's hard to keep track of what paltry beginnings we came from. Now, we are currently at war with Denmark, trying to take over the place that took our wife prisoner at some point. I'm not quite sure why I thought we were doing really, really badly. I think it's because we are in several wars, there's an invasion happening potentially soon, or we just repelled it. Definitely our troops are starving, so let's just unpause a little bit, see what happens. I think we lost an alliance or something. Our son learns a language, good for him. We're walking here. And we're gonna take on some uh, supplies. A new faction has been created against us. Just a rabble, rousing rabble. Just some peasants, doesn't really matter to us. Uh, we're gonna have to ship over to Denmark soon, but honestly, our allies are very much on there. I will not give you 40 gold, my dear, what are you, daughter? Uh, thank you for, for, um, yes. Family stuff. Family stuff right around this time of year. Generally what you would do a lot. So the Danish are losing to our lovely, lovely allies, which we gathered from all corners of the earth here to help us. So we might not even have to send our troops over. Um, and they're still starving. So let's split them up so they can actually, you know, get resupplied. A vassal of ours has been taken prisoner in an internal war over there in Alba. And Antoninus, who is our son and knight, becomes a tough soldier. And he is a bold reaver, Ravenna. A friend till the end. Uh, what? Wait, are we dying? Are they dying? Let's read this. As I lay upon my bed, oh yeah, all right. I remember we're infirm and everything. We're disfigured, infirm, and ill. Um, yeah, please stay with me. I need that medium health boost from you, my lad. So again, if if you're watching this for the first time, I don't necessarily read all the flavor text anymore. I have played this a whole lot in in time now. So what I go for is I check out the descriptions down here. I check which is the better one, meaning which has the greater green effect for us. But in this case, for example, we would get Caring Friend, which is a medium health boost. And given our current situation, we are kind of in a bad state. So I'd rather take the little bit of stress here because we're shy, uh, but also get that health boost from our caring friend who is now ready to sit on our bedside and hold our hand. Uh, we have another health perk, which uh, uh, intelligence lifestyle perk, which is good because we definitely need whole of body. Uh, fertility plus 20% doesn't matter to us, but the health medium boost, that's gonna be important for us. I'm, I'm lucky, I'm glad that I chose this pathway early on because actually we're a little bit, well, not too young for it. But given all that's going on with us, yeah, that's actually a pretty good choice that we made there. And uh, best we stick with it, I would say. All right. Okay. Oh, we can ask the Pope for another little cash infusion. Let us do that right away. And how's our war with Denmark going? Um... Okay, so our friends are sieging. I'm not going to travel over there to help in the siege. Ah, yes, the Duke. Please come in. Thank you. He brings us money, grandeur, and renown. That's all good. So I'm not going to travel over there 
Because they are going to finish the only important siege anyway. The place we would have to go is here. But if we sailed by our allies, there's a good chance that the AI would just stop what they're doing. Follow us down here to attack the Danish capital. And we don't need them to do that. We need them to do this right there. Because maybe we, you know, maybe we just win. And that would be lovely, of course. Our enemies are gathering there. We're at 98, 99%. So this will be done in a moment. Uh, ailing with age. Befuddled. Uh, Alright, okay. What was I thinking about? Th see, the thing is, this message kind of makes me scared. Because that's my life already. And I'm not even close to his age. Oh boy. I can't remember things. Half of the time I leave a room and go to another one. So... We'll be winning this. This will be ticking up as long as we control all the dotted areas. So it's just a matter of time. We didn't have to send our troops anymore. We win this one. Well done. So, um, the thing is, the, the guy that had our former spouse imprisoned um, and taken as a, as a concubine... I'm not even sure if I can find that person anymore. Do we have a personal history or something? Memories of this character. Yes. So. Let's see. You married Heinrich. Who is this guy? You were imprisoned by this count. She doesn't actually say that she became... Um, she became his concubine. But that must be him. So he's dead already. Um, which is good. He was murdered by the Countess here. Thank you very much. Uh, but the thing is, he has children. Who are now my vassals. <laughs> so, um... Yeah. Let's pin these people here. And... Let's see. What can we do? Murder isn't very high here. See, we want to end this bloodline, basically. Can't imprison him at the moment because he's a child. Could demand conversion, which he might refuse. Which could be good. So for now, we're just gonna demand their conversions. Not sure why I can't demand their conversion because maybe they're not my actual uh person no i will not bargain for your soul allows us to rightfully imprison this lad oh he doesn't know what he just did so it's no longer a crime because he just refused the conversion that i've so very generously offered him uh meaning i can just imprison him now uh, he'll hate us a little bit. His family will hate us a little bit. And if we fail, uh, he will rise in rebellion. Which is not, you know, let him. Because we have our own holding right there. So if he raises in rebellion, we'll be sitting right on top of him. <laughs> Very good. So he has 1,600 troops. We have a few more. So I'm not too worried about that. Oh, 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 I should be. Okay, we're just going to stop raising these guys. And wait until our troops are actually fully supplied. Yes, we have gotten some more troops there. And we're no longer ill. Look at us. We might actually make it a few more years. So no idea where he's going. But we're going to start our sieging. Can't we get someone who can actually siege, maybe? No. We'll just keep the commander in then. That's not a problem. Okay, I don't... Sure, something about... Someone is a deviant. I don't care. Okay, 
I don't mind so much that we're being raided up there. So are they coming for our capital now? They might be. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise everyone else here. So we'll have a bit of an army defending at home. Might not be the best army. But that's fine. Let's see, can we actually beat them? Ah, oh, we just need to defend here. Could send these troops back home. And fight them. How much gold does it cost me? 21. I'm fine, I'll, I'll happily pay that. Let's find a good steward. And luckily, our strong vassal here... Uh, is actually a very good steward. Maybe we can get him to convert, which he's willing to do. Very good. We're still growing our... Northman army conquest. Okay, there we go. And we have too many held duchies. Oh boy, all the things we need to take care of. Let's see, first of all, we need to defend ourselves against here. So we'll call in everyone in the defensive war, because it's free for us. And we got a bunch of pretty decently equipped allies who will win this for us without having... Like, we don't have to lift a finger, really. The other war we can win. No trouble. Now let's see, we have too many duchies. Oh. The Northman army conquest raised right here. We have 104 favor. Our damage has increased 208% by that. So, this could be good, could be bad for us, honestly. Our horsemen are pretty strong. But they're countering our pike, which isn't so bad. I'm afraid to unpause this, honestly. Our troops might just be getting destroyed there. Um, Alright. Okay. <laughs> Not ideal. Let's unpause this. Let's see what happens. Blessed be God. Excellent. Our allies are coming in. So right now, based on just how many people are being routed here... We are inflicting about twice what we are receiving in this battle. More or less. But I think we're losing still. And we'll banish them the old-fashioned way, which is the option which leads just to battle. So, we got completely obliterated there, because I honestly didn't know that they would start there. And our heir was taken prisoner in this battle, which is pretty bad for us, so... Um, we would have to pay ransom, but they don't want to sell him to us, basically. So, if we attack him again, he's just gonna win. So, it doesn't really matter for us. We're gonna go stay in the mountains. And just wait. Maybe an ally shows up. Maybe we show up. We can't fight this, honestly. We were sending half our army back home. To, uh, to provide this. So we are relying on our allies right now, which are on the way, but uh, you know, things might go a little bit bad until then. This guy is sadly... Oh no, he's hills and mountains, we could recruit him. But we got this, friendly casualties, uh, fatal casualties down. It's pretty good, like if he attacks us again, we have a good chance of winning it. Even though we are quite at a disadvantage there. And... Okay, Radomir has died, who we just called into a battle, so our little daughter here can make us a new alliance. That's all we're seeing here. Good evening, Kambira. Ah, yes, no camera tonight. I'm taking it easy. <laughs> I'm taking it easy. Um, how are you doing? How's your campaign going? Sorry, last last night of the year. Uh, next year, we have we have camera again. 
I promise. <laughs> but I can at least put up Twitch chat. I can do that. And we don't need the outline in the background, so that's all good. It's not nice you could join us. Sorry for the delay on this one. So, um, right now it's not looking too great for us. All around, kind of bad. But losing our troops means we can raise a few more troops here. Because some of them have been dispersed now. Kunigunde from, uh, of Innsbruck is trying to... <sighs> now go away. You have the lover's pox. I don't want you seducing me. So we'll just gather some more troops here. And we hope that some of our allies are going to show up in a moment. We haven't played... Lastly, I've been farming events in other games. All right, all right, and that's cool. I have um, I've decided to dip my toes back into Civilization Six, I think, as an additional thing on the channel. So we'll see that. But big question though: Have you finally gotten the gist of uh, of succession <laughs> and the things I tried to bestow? Last time we spoke. Are you feeling confident? More confident than my leaders here. Should we buy this guest? We haven't tried yet. Oh, 115 gold. That's, that's a little bit too rich for my blood. So, um, yeah, we can't attack here. So we'll just stay on the defense. Until this thing has been cleared up. Luckily, it's only that one army we need to defeat and that's pretty much done. Um, we could pay the ransom. I don't care so much. Uh, but let's call in one of our larger allies here. This guy. Uh, to help us in, in this. Oh, it's actually also a defensive war. I, I kind of forced it. But it's also a defensive war. So I can call all my allies into everything, basically. That's pretty cool. And it costs me nothing. You know what? Might as well. A power as an emperor isn't necessarily who you got right there at the table with you, but who you can call in, basically. Wow, okay, Fran Frankia is big bad. Last time he created a custom character and learned to play, uh, to pay attention because he had sexuality on random and he was gay and he was having no sons. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, no. That's, um... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's troublesome. So all our allies are coming in. I'm hoping we can take care of the invasion here first. Because that's two wars at once as well. Like, once we got the invasion force down. But I don't know where they're going. They might be going different places now because I called them into both wars. Okay, they're landing up there. So we're just going to go meet them. And they're probably, probably following us. So we can just go on the offensive here. Uh, we have some more troops now. Because an ally joined us, I think. So maybe we can win this as well. Plus there's more allies landing. So should be good as well. Well, we're definitely winning this one up here. And we're also definitely winning this one. So that's this. Stop it. And now we just siege this down. Win this battle over here. Take back what they took. Oh, how practical. We took him prisoner. Well, no, actually, I don't know exactly who we took prisoner. I think we just siege this down fully. Oh, right. Okay, so the cool thing what happened here is why this was so quick. Uh, we were taking over the siege progress from the army that we just destroyed. So, insta-finish... On both of these wars. One fly. No, two flies with one clapping thing. Alright, okay. So, um, we have a prisoner to take care of. This guy here. He is the son of the man who took our wife from us and turned him into a concubine. Uh... So, he'll be executed. 
We have a reason. No one will think of us as a tyrant. He revolted against us, so it's perfectly fine we do this. Cost us some stress level, that's fine. So next is the sister who will ask to convert. And we'll see whether or not she does. All right, let's go uh, seclude ourselves a little bit. Loses us 56 stress because we are a little bit overstressed at the moment. Let's set our commander, our marshal, back to training our commanders because we need better commanders for sure. Uh, blessed be God, so she converts officially. And now we start our murder scheme. Because I think that's the last important one of this, uh, at least of his direct children. If we kill all his children, that's perfectly fine. That's almost enough for me. We might also go take care of the brother and his child. Just to really, really wipe out this whole bloodline. It's, it's, uh, it's nothing personal. <laughs> Let's be clear on this. So, we have a, we have a duchy down here, which we don't want. Se whoop. Seville. Yeah, so we don't want this duchy. Do we have anyone good down here? Anyone who doesn't hate us? Okay, this guy holds all the duchy lands anyway. Might as well make him a dutch, a duke. Let's give him the duchy. He can have it. It's fine. Like, it doesn't belong to me anyway. I can't hold it. Um. So what's the duchy up here? Maybe we create this. So we have less direct vassals down here that are annoyed at us. Though, no. these actually quite like us. Insula. Insula. Very well. They they are also believing in the right things. This guy doesn't. Please convert. Thank you. We're starting the Irish Revolution around here. The Insula Catholic Revolution. Spreading it all around. Blessed be God. What other games do you play, Captain Bira, by the way? Especially in, in this kind of uh, play space, like 4X, stuff like that. We can transfer a vassal. We will do this. We see, we have still too many held duchies. Oh yeah, we have we have the petty kingdom of up up there. So we need to get rid of that. Um, let's check who's gonna succeed it anyhow. You. So we're gonna give him. Uh, we're gonna give him. This and the duchy title is gonna inherit it anyway. Might as well give it him. <laughs> Question was, what, what other games do we play uh, in in this kind of space, like four X or grand strategy? What other things are you into? Our son can marry. Okay, right. Um, let's see, alliance power. What can we get? Duchy of Moray. That's internal. Kingdom of Ireland, internal, doesn't really matter too much. Let's see, we would like something outside. Bourbon. Ah, 2,000. Let's go. I'll take 2,000 minutes. World of Warships and Cards. I've never heard of cards. What is that? And we can do a little ransom here. An agent was removed from our scheme. I don't like that. But it's okay. We're still on 95 for 95. It's the best we're going to get. Alliance formed with the Bourbon. Why are you so strong? The Nibelunging. <laughs> Crazy. Murder gains progress. Yeah, let's go. Let's go through the tunnel. So, this is kind of odd, honestly. Having... So many Western empires so early. I don't see that very often. I mean that we have an empire. Okay, sure. But seeing two strong and Francia is very strong empires in, in Western Europe. That's 
Not very common. Kazaria is also going pretty, pretty big. Don't see that very often. Mongolia is pretty strong. The Arabian Empire. The Abbasids definitely fell apart, for sure. It's just a cat. Stop whining. It's a World War II card game. Pretty niche. Alright, okay. At least all the ones I play from f uh, to farm stuff. I play mainly Hearts of Iron, and I'm getting into War Thunder, Age of Empires 2, and War now. Okay, cool. Well, why Age of Empires 2 over, say, Age of Empires 4? Ranghilde died. Oh, no. Nice. Okay, let's become faithful. We have survived a lot of things. I think we, we deserve some uh, faith in God. Would be good. Ah, we, we can station some regiments. Yeah, we should probably do that. Let's see. Where can we station anyone? So that's plus 3.3 and plus 3.6. Wait, didn't we build this up to be something specific? No, we did not. So it doesn't really matter who we put there. 4.8. So uh, the armored footman would take more out of it. Armored footmen would take most, so that's who we're going to station. We don't have more holdings to put more people in, so everyone else is stationed as we manage. Um, we Could we go bigger or should we go bigger? We could go bigger, but should we? Different question, really. <laughs> because there's no way of having a better strategy game than Angel of Empires 2. Okay, I can appreciate that. Though I must say, I grew up with these games. Like, I played a lot of Age of Empires 2. I remember very vividly um, dragging over my CRT monitor and my PC uh, to my best friend's house. And we would set up for a weekend or so and play Age of Empires 2. And things that we did was, like, we, we built little we built little farms and, and zoos because you could kind of push the animals on the map, like the deer and the, and the hogs and the lions and stuff. Uh, you could kind of push them around the map, sort of, lead them around. And um, then we would have, like, little pipemen stand in front of our gates. It was... It didn't have a lot to do with actually playing the game. We just had a lot of fun faffing about on the maps. Uh, so that was pretty cool. But I must say, um, with Age of Empires 4, for example, the modern conveniences of games, strategy games, man, I don't miss the old times. Yes, the Duke, please, show him indirectly. It's not an easy language. Thank you for trying to speak in our, our language. I appreciate it. So who are you? And why are you a powerful vassal? You're not good enough for, for that job. Let's put in the Duke. At least it's a Duke. He's not the best for the job, but he's good enough. You were three years old when you played Age of Empires 2 for the first time, my lord. Okay. Okay, our Chancellor immediately died or vanished. Not so sure. I mean, should we put him in? He's young. He might He might yet improve. Let's put him in. He's just doing domestic affairs. There's really not much that he could do wrong. So that's fine. Yeah... One thing, I don't know, maybe they maybe they improved Age of Empires 2 as well in that. But in Age of Empires 4, if you build farms around your around your uh, town center, you can just click right on the town center by holding shift, and the game is automatically going to place the farms in the best possible pattern around the uh, around the town center. So these are the things I really really don't miss when playing older games. I love that newer RTS games are giving you these conveniences. Um, so, let's see if she dies. Alright, yep. She died and no one knows it was us. So, uh, there's one more or two more people left in this uh, little, little bloodline here. So let's see, is he easier to kill or is this child easier to kill? They're both pretty easy to kill. So we'll start with him, I think. He has to go first.
Yeah. Oh, they they did that in a definitive edition as well. I mean, sucking is is part of it, honestly. The the thing about um, modern gaming is also like when I was a kid playing these games, including Electricity King C, I didn't know I sucked. I, d I didn't know I was bad at the games because there was literally no reference unless I went uh, to a big LAN party where I could play against people I knew. There was really no way. Uh, let's see, what's what's up here? Closer to rivalry? I don't care. We want we want the green text. We're going to go for the green text. Or do we? County of Middlesex gains a uh, redoubled effort. What is Middlesex? Says, says, is it important to us? Barony of Ghoul. Yeah, it's here. It's important to us. Uh, how much income do we get from that domain? Plus 6. So minus 20% is minus zero, 0 0.12. Ah, that's fine. I'll take the 20% uh, development growth for 15 years. Okay, you want me... Oh, you found me a good commander. Very good. Malik shall serve me. He shall demand a conversion. We shall demand the conversion. Oh, that's a lot less than... Ooh, 0 0.9? I'm not good at math. Uh, so, when I was younger, you never really knew whether or not you were good at a game or not. So now I think it's a, it's a lot more pressure to play games. With all these guides and stuff out there. Like, that's why I'm not doing my guides at all. Like, I'm not trying to teach anyone to be good at these games. I'm, tr I'm trying to teach people how to enjoy the games. How to play them. Just how to play them. Uh, how to get good is elsewhere. You know? Like, if you want to really min-max and stuff like that. Someone is giving us a skull goblet. An elegant but macabre drinking goblet formed from the skull of Ethelled. Okay, dread gain plus 10%, stress gain minus 4%. Why is this giving us less stress? Well, thank you certainly for this lovely gift. So now I think it's much harder to really enjoy games, isn't it? Because it's just... Yeah, it's so much stress. You, you can know if you're bad. Which I think is kind of sad. So that's a court artifact, isn't it? We don't have that many yet, so we can put this goblet definitely on display here. <laughs> okay, we need a new court physician as well. That happened. Let's go. Uh, the Patriarch Tostik of Albar. Alba? Yeah, I mean, he likes us. He's decent at it. Depends. Okay, let, let me hear it. How does it depend? You don't feel pressure? I feel pressure. I'm gonna tell you a little story. You 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 tell your side and we're gonna tell you a little story after that. Maybe it's a little bit different for me, but... We'll see. I'm curious to hear what you gotta say. And I need to close this again. Let's see. When the time comes, my agents will be faced with a room. I will explore the plains ourselves because we are a hunter. And we get the mapped area, plus ten percent, plus ten percent. The Empire uh, Emperor of Alba, the disfigured, infirm Emperor of Alba, is just walking around here, making some maps super inconspicuous. No one is ever gonna know that we were at all involved with any of that. We are sneaky. Age of Empires is actually a good example of that. There's a YouTuber called T90. As a series where he casts low elo games, and it's super fun because people there generally don't know nothing about the meta, being good and just play the game and create their own wacky strategies. So it depends on what you pay attention to. You know what? That is a very, very, very good point. That is a very good point. I don't think I have considered it from that perspective yet. I like that idea. It's a good, it's a good perspective on it, for sure. I've been dealing with uh, stressing about certain things a lot recently, and I'm, I'm trying to deal with it a little bit better. So what I've been thinking about is like, okay, I like to teach games, yeah? or, or generally teach things that I kind of understand. Let's hold some court while I'm talking. 
Nothing bad ever happens in court. <clears throat> Displeased peasants. Yeah. What does... Do we want the cultural acceptance to decrease? Leofric becomes a peasant leader. I mean... Okay. Okay, we're not we're not gonna build a thing that depicts Irish as monsters. We are Irish. Go away with that. After I'm done holding court, I'm gonna tell you my uh, story there, how I see it, and I think your perspective is much better than mine, honestly. Let's see, skilled yes, needed no. I have found my bodyguard, so they want me to take this guy on. Oh, yes. Okay, it will stress me out. A lot because I'm paranoid and I'm fearing that they're trying to put someone who's going to be an agent against me into my court. Um, so... No, that's fine. We'll take him. We're not going to take him as a bodyguard. We're just going to take him as a knight. That's fine enough. Costs us crazy stress. We'll deal with that in a moment. Who's this? Oh, you're the spouse of this kid. Huh. Okay, I don't know why exactly she's imprisoned with me. Um, she becomes our friend. If we cook her the finest meal she's ever seen. I gotta put a reward to make me drink water. That is also very smart. You're having the best ideas tonight and the best viewpoints. I love it. Um, like a... Yeah. That's a that's a good idea. Okay, I'll I'll take that in in a moment. Let's see. So the house arrest shall be allowed out of the rooms. No. Okay, we're already in bad. So you're my friend now, huh? Let's negotiate your release. You were his wife. Um, you were his wife. So I think it is only proper for me to bring you into my court and make you the wife of another. I will make you the wife of God, the Almighty, by making you a nun. Yes, I think this is fair. I think this is fair. Very good. Watch your step now, Inga. So now we have a friend at court. A lovely nun. Who is a bit greedy, but you know. What can you do? Alright, there, there are several things I wanted to take care of now. Uh, let's, let's pause for a second. First things first, let's focus on the game. So we have a lot of stress. We would like to take care of that stress level a little bit. Uh, we have a bunch of really, really bad traits. From uh, dealing with stress in the past. But that also gives us a lot of decisions that we can make to reduce that stress. For example, we can seclude ourselves. Costs us only a little bit of prestige. We do that. Uh, loses us seven, uh, 37 stress for 150 prestige. We could donate to charity, which is usually crazy expensive. It's not so much. 75 gold. Uh, I think we're going to do that. Another 37, uh, 37 pre stress down. Very good. We could pet our cat, our little pet uh, cat, Spooky. 19 stress down. We could go ahead and indulge in drink. 
which uh, this one is a little bit dangerous because it could lead to you becoming drunkard. So use that very sparingly. But we're already drunkard, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so it just costs us some prestige because, you know, we're an emperor indulging in drink, right? But now our stress is perfectly fine, perfectly manageable again, doesn't matter anymore. We're done with that. Now let me take care of all the other things. First, I'm gonna set up that gold you're talking about. Um, so let's see, how do I do that? <laughs> A community? No. Set Re Viewer rewards? Channel points? No. Where do I do that? Uh, it's not a goal, is it? Like, it's one of these, um... It's one of these... Channel point thingies. Isn't it? Like, we got our goals. We got the subscription goal, uh, where we are 24 out of 26. We got the follower goal, where we 78 out of 80. We're very close, so anyone watching who would like to drop a follow, I'd absolutely appreciate it. Would be lovely. We could finish that goal right now, basically. But I think a bunch of people who are here are regulars, which I also appreciate. Always happy to have you guys here. Guys and gals, of course. Now, let me see. I know I saw it somewhere. I know I saw it somewhere. Yeah, it's challenge. Challenge your community. That's what we want to do. There we go. Okay, I found it. Or no, 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 no. You, oh, I think I know what you mean. Wait, not to challenge the community thing. Um, It's the channel point thingy. You can do that. Bear with me. We almost got it. Yeah, it's a, it's a reward thing, isn't it? No. Channel points. Ugh. Okay, this is... Oh my god. That is super locked away. Okay, very good. Okay, we got channel points set up in a way. Oh, by the way, I just noticed you can also unlock emotes. With channel points. That's really cool. Okay. Twitch is doing a lot of things proper. They just hide a lot of things. I think. Okay. So now we need a new custom reward. Which is... Um, how do we call that one? The Emperor... Shall... Hydrate? <laughs> um, the Emperor... Talks a lot and never thinks to quench their thirst. Give them a stern reminder that their royal highness must hydrate like the rest of us. How much should that cost? Because I don't I don't want to be drinking all evening and then go you know, go break, go and break every two seconds. Put one to fix my posture. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> hey, my posture is amazing. I don't know what you mean. That, that bulge on my back there, I'll have you know it's it's considered extremely beautiful where I'm, I'm, I'm from. Okay, we're going to make this a 200 cost for now. I don't have an image for it though, so we'll just leave it as it is, I think. Yeah, okay, so the drinking is going to be that. Um, drinking is going to be that. Redemption cooldown. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me put a cooldown on that. Um, like, every 20 minutes. Every 20 minutes, I think. I think that's fair. Okay, we created that. I'll, I'll have to check in on the... On the on the icons and stuff. I could make it blue at least because it's you know it's water related. So that makes some sense. Um and next we're gonna set up Fix the posture. Alright, okay. 
fine. <laughs> all right, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll drink in a second. Let me finish the posture fixing thing. And we'll give it like a teal color or something. I think I have teal colors because I like teal colors. So well, we're definitely going to do a, a little... Um, like every half hour, you may remind me to fix my posture for 150 crowns. Okay, first I drink. Thank you. Thank you. I shall drink. Very good. Very good point. That is taken care of. Now, back to the game. <laughs> and back to the things I was talking about. So, I get your point with the fact that depending on where you look, it's not so bad. That's a very, very, very good point. That's generally about um, how, you know, people are happy or unha unhappy. I could compare myself to Elon Musk in terms of his wealth. And be very unhappy about my life because I'm, I'll am i never get even close to anywhere like that. But then again, I could cons uh, compare myself against Elon Musk for literally anything and I'd be a very happy person because I'm not anything like that person at all. So the only thing to be, you know, envious about there is just really the wealth. That's all. Oh, are we being raided? Goody. Because those raiders I think we can actually beat. So let's raise our army already. And go for them. So same with these games, right? I, I've been watching uh, Rank 1 dudes uh, play Age of Empires 4. I learned a lot. And uh, the guy I'm, w I'm watching is really entertaining as well. So that's not bad. Uh, what, do we new what do we do here? No. Cat is not trouble. Spooky can stay. And... I learned a lot, honestly, like my gameplay has gotten a lot better in Age of Empires 4. I'm not playing ranked or anything, I'm just playing against AI still, but uh, I can consistently take on hard AI and win, no problem. No issue whatsoever. Um, I can... I can... or I learned not to stress out so much about certain situations uh, that I encounter in the game. Where, you know, I get pressured very early. Uh, I might lose some units, stuff like that. Oh no. One of our knights entered a wrestling contest, but another one just died. Okay. So we're winning quite handsomely here. So that is something you can definitely learn from good players because they don't lose their nerves. They don't tilt, they just they just go, you know? Oh look at that, we captured 202 gold from the raiders. Ho ho! That was worth it. Wait a moment, they're not going on ships? They're not fleeing onto ships? Ooh. There's a color 13 song called There's Nobody Like You and it's really good because part of seeing that uh, you are unique in your own world and it shows how there are people for everything. So maybe, yeah, Elon Musk has money, but perhaps the thing that is uh, that you haven't found that thing is makes you unique. Absolutely. I agree. I've been watching uh, Mob Psycho the <laughs> past two days um, on vacation with my partner. And um, the intro of the first season is basically also along those lines, basically, where it's like, um, if no one is special, then you can literally do whatever you want, because it doesn't matter. And I think that's very true. Oh no, the Count dies? Oh, how treacherous the wilderness can be. It's so odd how everyone who inherits this title just kind of dies, isn't it? Next murder scheme, upcoming. And we're destroying the raiders once again. Th this time they don't have money for us. But that's okay. Oh yeah, no worries. You take care. 
We'll just play some Crusader Kings 3 until you're back. Let's see. Um, let's look to what God would want. Let's get some pious context in here. And oh, look at that. Our player heir, son and vassal, is perfectly, perfectly suited for the job. Oh, look at this handsome man. Look at him. Prince Gregory II. Oh, he'll do just fine. He'll do just fine. They could bestow favor upon him, I think. Man, it's a very wholesome stream right now. <laughs> uh, let's bestow favor on him. Uh, increases him. Improves him, and I don't really need this so much. I don't need anything here. Might as well bestow favor upon our beloved heir and son. So he generates some more good stuff, and... Uh, now, the question is, will we disband or will we keep hunting them? Welcome back. So, I think you can learn a lot from really good players. Uh, and that's definitely a resource we didn't have when I was younger. Like, pfft. I was I was someone who figured out, like, a, cast, a tower rush in Warcraft 3. Like, I knew that was a thing. Um... As internal alliance, we're going to negotiate it for sure. I would like that one, but he's not really willing. We have a lot of alliances already. Would be fun. Doesn't matter, though. Um, so, like, I think that's something I'm missing a little bit about modern gaming. Like, if you figure something out yourself, there's a high likelihood that other people are going to, you know... Um, Already I figured it out, and you're probably never going to be the first with any thought. And it's much easier to figure that out in um, in modern times that that's the case. It's a little bit sad. But on the other hand, you can learn a lot, and you can learn some really good things from everywhere. So, I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not saying things were better back then. Definitely not. I'm personally just feeling a lot more pressure. Like, when I go online and I, I teach and I talk about Crusader Kings 3, you can't imagine how excited I get every single time someone comes in chat, someone comments on the YouTube videos. You cannot imagine how exciting this is to me. In Like, there's a little bit of dread. Like, oh no, someone's going to say something where I missed a thing. I said something wrong. I... whatever, you know? But then, on the other hand, there's also this moment, in the exact same moment, it's like, oh man... Maybe this is someone telling me, oh, they learned something from my videos. And those really, like, this is a high that I take with me for a day or two or three even sometimes. <laughs> that sucks to play in Age of Empires. It has like 25 years. If you discover something and find that a Korean dude actually used it to win the 2004 Global Coup uh, Cup. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's that there. Okay, stationed man at arms toughness would just be good. Um, but let's see if we can't find something specifically for spearmen. We can. Damage and levies go up. I think uh, we're just going to go push for militia camps then. No. Uh, for barracks. Barracks or regimental grounds? Now, regimental grounds is more general. It gives more levies, and it reduces men at arms maintenance. I think we need to take this. So we'll build that here. Let's see, we have heavy infantry stationed here. We could upgrade this. Gives us some extra money. And some extra supply around here. I think I'd rather take the development growth, though. So we'll upgrade this. And now we're not upgrading anything further because we don't have enough money. To both potentially wage wars and upgrade further. So we're just going to go ahead and just let the time run. So I don't know. I'm, 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 fr I'm afraid to cover games or make content around games that I don't perfectly understand. Like currently on, on YouTube, I'm doing a Dungeons 4 playthrough as well. It's, it's getting plenty of views for my channel size anyway. Oh no, the scheme was exposed. That shouldn't matter much. Yeah, it's a child. 
Look at that. Even with minus 75%, because our agents, there's so many eager to kill this kid. 211%. Doesn't matter. Even though the scheme is known, it's probably still going to happen. Oh, yes. More church gold. Thank you, Pope. I will definitely use it wisely. So, I'm, I'm scared of putting things out where I don't fully know exactly what I'm talking about. And with modern games, there's so much to know. So, so much to know. So many tactics, so many strategies, everything. Um, so, I'm really happy about Crusader Kings 3, honestly, because it's it feels so very complex. Yeah? Uh, that knowing even how to play it basically is already a skill in itself, I think. Um, and I'm having a really good time every single time I play this. So I feel very confident in teaching this, playing this, and trying to get people to get into it. Not so much in other games. Like, I'm not gonna start streaming Civilization 6 until I've, like, logged at least one more match where I win. Like, I have to play one without anyone watching, where I win, and then if I feel confident, then I can start covering. That's kind of what I feel. And I'm not sure if that would have been different if there wasn't such a vast amount of knowledge to be gained publicly for everyone who wanted that type of knowledge. Nice. Earl Beorn, the shapeshifter, has been improved. By our lovely... Can I pardon you? Where's the pardon button? I can pardon criminals. Um, our vassal the king? No, we're not going to pardon him. We're not going to pardon her. I wish I could pardon him. Yeah, that's the thing with streaming. No, lots of people and have the same problem. Eh. But honestly, the more I get into it... Listen, how many viewers do I get? I think the greatest was 20 at a time. That was due to a raid. It was great. Honestly, felt really nice. And it was so much fun. I think you were there with the um, King of the Castle stream that we did a few days back. That was really great. But... <sighs> that's what I'm trying to get toward... I just need to stop caring. I just need to do. Speaking of which, goodbye, child. A barely used trail. Okay. We learned of Duke Ulf, the second switch secret. Because our cat brought us a scroll where it says, in, uh, where it says so. Alright, okay. And they say children are the future. This one sure isn't. Alright. You are of a different dynasty. You are of a different dynasty. I think I've successfully deleted these. Oh no, not yet. There's still some people to delete. Like, do I need to kill the entire dynasty? I think I just... I, I killed everyone who was directly or more or less directly involved. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. No, I think we're good. I, I think we've killed enough of these people. To make a point. Don't mess with the wife of the Emperor of Alba. Is this message that we're sending. Convert faith in county progress speed. Nah. Religious relationships inefficiency. Let's go. We want better relations with the Pope for money reasons. We gain uplifting visions of the afterlife or horrifying visions of the afterlife. Oh, learning plus six? Are you kidding me? Most miraculous fish. Prepare me one of those magical fish. The ritual, you must teach it to me. We could become a witch and get her as a loyal servant. And increase our learning bus by plus five. 100% chance it works. Uh, we burn her as a witch. <laughs> 
Um, uh, we just kick her out because she's a weird commoner. Supposedly she can't just dream fish from a secret spot and perform strange rituals upon them. I mean... Okay, we are a learning lad. But how pious are we? Now, we are a wise man. We're not necessarily a very Christian man. I think we'll go and, and let her teach us. So now we are a witch. Which means... Which means... <laughs> Get it? Which means... <laughs> uh, hold mystical communion. Though I think this is a wise man thing and not so much a... Yeah, that's a wise man thing. It's not really a witch thing. But we should get a witch thing as well. We've communed with God. So now we have 48 learning. Mm-hmm. That's what you want. Knew a guy that loved playing Total War and started streaming it after a while he started to hate the game. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, this hasn't happened with me in Crusader Kings 3. Honestly, I've I've received so many supportive comments on YouTube recently on the um on the last playlist I did before this one here. Uh teaching Crusader Kings 3 as I play. It's so fantastic. So good. So happy I can help people. You pay me 150 gold. Oh, I'm getting a gift. I think I don't know. I can't even remember the last time I got a gift in this game from someone. That is very rare. It's very rare. There's a lot of infighting going on here. What's happening with you? 200 to 500 viewers. Alright, okay. I mean, I'd like to have that, but I don't think that's possible with Crusader Kings 3, honestly. I missed the boat on that one. That was probably around the release of it. But it's fine. I'm not clout chasing or anything. Like I'm not I'm not looking to jump on the thing that's super popular at the moment and just do that. That's not really my thing. I wanna play what I'm actually enjoying. Uh like in the background I test out a lot of games. I uh sometimes I mean maybe you've seen on YouTube where I upload a single uh video or something that I've discovered that I've find interesting at the moment or whatever. But I try to only play anymore what, what I find interesting. Thank you, Steam, for the wait. We lost some land here to this. Uh, I don't accept that. Okay, maybe I have to accept that. Darn. When did that happen? And our cousin died in the siege. Well... All right, then. It's not really much else we can do down here. But we got a foothold down here in, in Spain. So once the Crusades start, I hope we have a good starting position on that. What could we do with you? A holy war for the kingdom of Norway. Other star ru rulers might join. What? How do you have 18,000 troops at your disposal here? Ah, the king of Sweden. Is 8,000. What? How many do you have? Okay, that's that's crazy. That is crazy. Oh, we have a count that has this whole claim here. And it's not a holy war either. Oh. That is attractive, but they're very strong. I don't think we can actually do that. Eh, the other Astarus might join, so Sweden and Norway might come. Not really ideal. Let's check around. Shop around for a little bit of war. See what we can do. Oh, what the heck are you? Astaru. But you're pretty far away from other Astaru, so it might not actually anyone come and join and help you. So we could just get this duchy right there next to Frankia. Which I don't think... Is, is this the jour part of your empire? Let's see. Oh yeah, it's... Okay, we're not going to do that because then we're just going to get into trouble with Frankia. Welp, Bukuin had 1000 when he played CK3. Yeah, 
I mean, there's a lot of people who get a lot of views, sure, but I don't think that's because they're playing CK3. <laughs> I think that's because they already have a really, really large following. Like, recently I saw a streamer on Crusader Kings 3 who had, like, 60, 80 viewers. I was like, oh, man, that's crazy. And I saw them on Mastodon that they were streaming, and I checked their Mastodon follower account, and they had, like, 15,000 followers. And I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> All right, no problem. <laughs> like, I got five viewers. What do you want? That's... That's fantastic. I've been I've been trying streaming on and off and, and YouTube on and off. Well, YouTube I've been doing pretty consistently, but um I've never been as successful in streaming as I am right now. <laughs> like I have actual subscribers, which still completely blows my mind. Um that is completely crazy insane to me. So you join the court? Are you are you any good though? I mean, she's decent in diplomacy, but doesn't really help us much. My emperor, allow me to introduce you, claim on to the chiefdom of Guru somewhere. My honor, sadly. Okay, so you have this claim, which is why you're here. Okay, let's see. Can I push your claim? Where is this even? Okay, okay, okay. That's in Norway. But they are allied, aren't they? And we could only push for this chiefdom here. This one. Mm -mm, yeah, this one. So it's not really worth it, that big war. But wait a moment. Did Sweden just get weaker? Oh, yes, Sweden did just get a lot weaker. Oh, hello now. Oh, hello. I think we need to grow a little bit. Let's just make sure we're not going to take too much that another empire can be created here. Because at the moment we still have... What do we have? Confederate Partition. Which means if a title can be created, it will be created of equal rank. And we are an emperor. So if another empire title can be created, it will be. But I don't think Sweden will take enough. So... Sweden will not be enough of this empire uh, to take it. So we can take Sweden into our uh, fold without risking the empire of Scandinavia being created upon succession. So uh, let's go. Let's push some claims here. For this guy. <laughs> okay, it costs all of our prestige, which means we really can't call in any, any allies. Um, well, we can call in one, I think. We can afford one. Let's get something big. A, a, a large duke. Because dukes are cheaper to call in uh, for prestige than uh, kings. So. Check past streams. Those also have low viewers. No matter the game. Guys with 80 views and 50,000 followers are 100% bots. Maybe. I mean, he didn't have 50,000 followers on Twitch. He just had uh, 15,000 on Mastodon. I don't even know if anyone bots there, but... Okay, so practic for us, very practically for us, we have some land here, so we can raise all our troops right there and march them over. We don't even have to swim. So, and uh, our friend is coming, which is lovely. Uh, we're missing 35 prestige to accept this marriage proposal. Um, okay, well, it, it'll auto-accept eventually. Okay, let's put our guy to organize the army again, so we don't bleed money too hard. A faction was created against us. Norwegian Astaru Populus. I mean. Alright, let's move out. We're gonna attack here. And we're gonna go attack there. A two pronged attack.
I think I keep overestimating our own power. We're not actually... We don't have that many troops. But once we have Sweden in the fold, that'll be a big one. That'll help us nicely. Okay, our two-pronged attack is all going on the same thing. But it's fine. We have a fairly small army. Might as well keep them together, honestly. And we still have no siege lad, don't we? Are we really not having a siege guy? I mean, this guy is a siege guy. He's horrible at it, though. At everything. I mean, we need to keep an eye on our army. We can't have this guy fight an actual battle. <laughs> this is gonna go real bad for us. If he does. I mean, I think the only real way of growing is uh, word of mouth or, you know, being present everywhere all the time. Uh, streaming all the time. Consistency is key. So, as is winning wars. We'll just slowly kind of roll it up from here because all of this is what we need to fight for anyway. So all of this is going to be good for us. King Carl II formed a new alliance. So Sweden formed an alliance with Galicia Bologna, which is bad for us. Um, no, no, no. This is bad in so far. They bring a lot of troops into the mix. So we are going to spend our last bit of prestige and bring in more allies. The enemy hasn't called the ally yet, but they will. Or they might. So, we best be prepared for that. I would like to go directly for the capital, but we don't know where his armies are yet. So, I'd rather keep everyone a little bit together while we fight around here, take stuff. And he's formed yet another alliance. Oh god, with the kingdom of Mordvinia. 6,145 soldiers. Oh, goodness. Okay, that's very bad. And one of his allies has joined now. If another ally joins, we're kind of done. <laughs> And there he goes. And now we're facing 15,000 soldiers. Against our... Much less. Okay, I think it's actually time for mercenaries, isn't it? The problem is if we get in mercenaries... We could also go negative prestige for a little bit, but... I don't think I want to. <laughs> Let's see... Uh, we're working on getting prestige done, so that's okay. I think if we if we get us mercenaries, they're gonna spawn right over here. There are no holy orders for us to get yet. So, we don't know exactly what his armies are composed of. Or do we? Oh, we do. So, let's see. What has the... Uh, there's a lot of archers in here. A lot of archers. A lot, a lot, a lot of archers. So if we just get something that's good against archers in terms of mercenaries, that's going to be a big help. So what's good against archers? Light horse. Which is extremely expensive, but honestly nothing is actually really cheap here. So 470 gold is a lot of money for what we have. Let's get the Gaelic band of Iverness, Inverness. That's up here. And they come with a very good commander, so that's pretty cool. It's always nice. Can we get someone with an even better commander? Nah, that's pretty much. It's another two knights in our pocket here. I'd rather do it now than not do it and regret it later. Now, if we stand them down here, can we call them back up over there? Big question. I never tried. And of course our allies abandoned their siege again, because we moved slightly south. 
So here is our mercenary army now. Royal Court Grandia is now at level 5. Decreased a little bit. That's okay. I don't care so much. Uh, we might gain a learning lifestyle. We could get logical thinking for 5 years. Such pursuit of wealth is inherently impious. No, no. Let's try and turn lead to gold. Let's try that. But we don't have money to do it. On second thought, this is a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Still got enough. Realm Priest opinion plus 50. That's not bad. When can we ask the Pope for money again is the big question. Let's check. Let's check Mr. Pope. Uh, 8th of February. So soon. Another year. Almost. So the Swedes and their allies haven't really shown their face yet. But I think they're fighting a bunch of wars, honestly. No, they aren't. What is this, then? Might be internal conflicts? Okay, let's send this army out to where? To here. Would you please take the land route? Thank you. Okay, and these can't really support anything. So we'll just join a different siege. Oh, we lose a few people on a, another siege there. That's fine. Because we don't have a lot of food anyway. I don't mind so much losing a few people here. Duke Emmerich becomes our friend. He has learned Goidelik. Uh, ha, his vain attempt at getting glory is laughable. Vassal in the Empire of Frankia, I don't care. I don't need you as my friend. I need the prestige to call in more allies. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Oh, I can't. I don't have enough. Darn. And I don't want to spend it on the on the Duke there. Family members can get married. Our daughter. Let's see. Can we get another good Duke here? Oh, yes. The Duke of Flanders. Will you take matrilineal? Even that perfect. It's unlikely there's going to be a alliance or a child out of that, but we'll see. Okay, and you just... Ugh. There's really no one good for you, huh? What are you? My granddaughter. We're not going to give our granddaughter away. You never get as good a match out of your granddaughter as you do as your direct... And we still need to keep someone around for when we die. Excellent. So now we can call in Flanders. For 150 and 1,000... A lot of troops. 3,000 something troops. What are you doing at the moment? I hope you're not a knight in my army. Let's make sure he isn't. Oh, oh, oh. The enemy shows his face. Okay. Uh, big development here. We're going to turn straight around. Because when they land, they get a huge debuff. They are super, super, super bad. They don't want that at all. And we can... Take that as our advantage. Especially if all of our allies are coming. Northman Conquest of the Isles. Okay. We can call everyone in that. Doesn't cost us a thing.
I think we're being beaten up here. Is that possible? Yes, quite. Maybe not the best idea to stand and fight there. Our cat brought us two gold. We have a new lease on our life here. Okay. Are we dying or are we winning? I don't know. I think we might be dying heavily in this war. Okay, um, let's check for white peace. Uh, we are very far away from that, so we're definitely losing this war. No questions asked. I think the calculations on whether or not we were winning here were kind of based on the invader group as well. So if we surrender, we can't afford that. We can't afford a surrender, basically, because we don't have the money to pay for a surrender. That's literally it for us. So our best chance is actually if the claim mount we're trying to press for here dies. That's our best chance at winning this war. Or getting out of this war, rather. If the, if the claim is invalidated. Did they def They deleted my whole army. They deleted my entire army. It is completely gone. We have nothing left. Oh god. Alright. Okay. We became the new head of the dynasty. Oh, fantastic. Why weren't we already? Let's see innovations. What are we working on? Still hereditary rule. All good. So, I think we have to bow out of this war because... We literally have no troops anymore. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. We'll surrender. It wasn't really s something we could foresee that they would get that. I mean, we can still fight it. We can still try and wait. But this thing here is a problem right now. Which takes definite priority. Because that's cutting stuff out of our lands. Whereas this is just not gaining new lands, basically. Ah, there it goes. Invalidated. What a shame. Uh, so, no war to be fought anymore, and this here is a big issue, <laughs> there's really not much we can do. You can beat a much larger army with an army that's better, for sure, we have done it. Uh, but maybe with our allies coming, but we can't raise anything proper right now. If we raise now, that's 2000, uh, it might be enough. Just need to move this flag a little bit over here. Oh no, our cat is gone. I will miss you, Spooky. I will not take your pelt. Okay, don't judge me. We have done this before. We pay for the pelt. We destroy the pelt. It's actually a cord artifact. Uh... Whoop, 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 and we'll destroy this. 80 gold for 14. That's a, that's a bargain. That's the only min-max thing I ever do. Get the pelt of the cat and then turn it into money. Let's see, I can barely no longer fetch the shizzles. The tree panning. What the heck is a tree panning? A figure in a physician's garb appears and has arrived with a case of tools. Her stomach churns as a hammer and pick are revealed amongst them. My lord, I am proficient tree panner. As an oculist, your own powers may be formidable, but there is still a barrier holding you back. Your magics could conquer the world. If the spirits of the air could enter your skull. You survive the tree panning unscathed. Will happen, it says. Okay, sure, let's open my skull. Ah. Uh. Okay. 
Let's raise all our troops here. And together with our allies, can we call someone else still? Not really. But we got all our allies here anyway. So we just kind of need to gather everyone and then attack them. My afflicted thoughts are for I alone may confront. What's going on here? The tree panning of the soul. I am taking into the study of Mr. Susan. Uh, as he ties me, be careful with him. The hammer crashes into my cranium, but gripping the chair, I get a hold of myself. When the pick is at last removed, and I feel no different beyond the mild draft blowing into my exposed brain. Though I wish the treatment could have taken the pangs away, there's some safety in knowing that at least my mind is my own and not a demon's. My afflicted thoughts are a foe I alone may confront. Every witch in your realm, plus ten opinion of us. <laughs> okay. So we got a hole in our head now. Our sister, the Empress Cecilia, died of old age. More allies are coming in. Alright, let's go throw these people back into the sea. And our allies are immediately leaving. Because they don't believe in walking across land. County of Devon. So, this is hills, this is mountains. So we're going to attack them in the hills. On their um, basic troops. What is this? A range of betrothal. Whoop, 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 whoop. What? False conversion. I should interrogate this heretic. Rabinism. What is this? Conversos. What is that? What is conversos? Azure syncretism. Okay. Can use Jewish artifacts at full benefit. Uh huh. Communion, communal identity. Let's interrogate him. We'll imprison him. Cultural exceptions goes down. And will it accept uh, the Kingdom of Francia betrothal? Because I take that alliance any day for sure. Okay, so we're crushing them. Absolutely no question asked. His strong troops are trying to come in. We're just going to wait for them here. Crush them too. As we watch a bunch of alliances flow down the river on the side here. Because people keep dying. But at least we managed to throw back the northern invaders. Didn't manage to get through on Sweden. But okay. There is a little peasant rabble coming at us in a few months. That's fine. They bring us a good leader, I'm sure. We have a claim on the Duchy of Opolania. That is somewhere here. Um, where? Down there. So, Great Moravia. Which... Wait, who, who holds this? No one? <laughs> okay. Right, 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 right. So we are regenerating a bunch of our troops right now. Because they got kind of murdered in that last war. Meaning we're losing a little bit of money here. Um, yes, the Countess. Please come into my court. Thank you. When are we up for the next legacy thing? Uh, still a bit away. But mainly I'm pushing to change our succession rule here. This book sounds interesting. I'll make sure the book gets to you. 70 gold. Increase your learning by one. 
It's so much money, and we're so old. Sounds like a you problem. I'm sorry, boy. I'm not gonna spend money on, on a character this old. Ah, but I'm gonna ask the Pope for money for a character this old. <laughs> okay, let's see. Alliance power. What can we do with you? The Banat of Slo Slavonia. Let's see. Who we can get for you? Who's good and strong? And no. Okay, nothing. All right. I mean, it's better than nothing. Sure, let's go. And this lad here, our grandson and knight, he needs a wife. Doesn't really matter much. Duchy at home. Strong vassal. Sure. Let's go with that. All right, everyone is married, everyone is done. Very good. And we got a hold court available. Let's do that. Let's hope nothing bad happens. Judgment is reserved for God alone. What do you want? Catholics worships God now. I will convince you. L let me show you the word of Saint Finian. They convert, and we get prestige. Let's see. If you aid me in pressing my claim, I shall swear fealty to you. <laughs> Kingdom of Sweden, listen. I cannot risk offending that king. Goodbye. Nothing we can do there. We tried. We saw how that ended. We're not going to do that again. Um... You don't say. Please go on. Talk to me about stuff, my commoners. And now we need to deal with some stress. We'll seclude ourselves. Goodbye. 150 stress, by the way, is no small matter. Uh, so do be careful with that stuff. We could flagellate ourselves, which wounds us. A feast. Of course we should have a feast. Uh, oh man. So this gives us less stress. Still some stress. So doing a feast isn't as efficient for us because, uh, well, we don't actually have uh, anything to gain out of because we're shy. You are merely decent. I don't want to sponsor your thing if you're merely decent. Go away. And we're no longer wounded. So the flagellation was pretty good because our court physician immediately took care of us and we lost a good bunch of stress. So sometimes taking these little risks can help. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I like that we're fine despite being literally infirm. Which is kind of like one of the worst things you can have and we're still fine because we're in the whole of body uh, decision tree here. Got 48 learning still. Despite being infirm. Okay. We could increase our son's martial focus or we could increase our own. We'll increase our son's martial uh, because, again, it doesn't really matter anymore for us. What's going on here? That's a very small selection for our son. Why? We'll go with this one then. It's odd. I don't know why there's so little options for him. My dear brother-in-law. Betrothed to my youngest. Ah, yes. So... How are you doing? Oh, you're doing fairly well. Though so you are wounded and maimed and gout ridden. Okay. You are near death. Will we outlive yet another heir? I think we, we just might. 
The Pope has passed away. Long live the Pope. Let's go sway the next Pope. Right away there. Wait, I can ask him for gold immediately? Lovely. That resets apparently. That's cool. We'll take that. Thank you for the money. I will absolutely use it wisely. Have you ever seen me never use it wisely? I use it so wisely. You don't even know how wisely I can use it. You don't understand. Call to war. Duchy of Apulia. Enemies, the Byzantine Empire, which is fairly weak at the moment. I mean... So we're fighting over this there. We could send a few. From down here, I think. Let's... What do we send? Definitely not our men-at-arms. I will see. We'll, we'll, we'll raise a little bit and... See what we want to send. Our Empress is pregnant again. We are infirm and disfigured and our Empress is pregnant again. Who is, by the way, 39, so... Okay, apparently we're going full on everything. And we'll just land there. I mean, Byzantine Empire is a pretty, pretty dope place to attack, you know? We are known for the dedication to our faith and we would have gained the achievement fa uh, saint if we not already had it. Look at us. Oh wait, that means we can change our religion, can't we? But I don't want to. <laughs> Last time I did that, all things went to hell. But then again, we already are a version of it. Might as well switch it away in a way where we're no longer Catholics. You know? Like, if we don't have a Pope, we don't get money either. Having a Pope is pretty good. Nah, we'll be fine. Let's send our troops around the world here. Nah, we're not gonna pay the Pope money to get money out of the Pope. That's, that's silly. Okay. Look at how absolutely near death we are, actually. Okay, so our, our dear daughter sees us flagellate and she's a little bit unsettled by that. Okay. There's a 15% chance she becomes a flagellant herself. Let's let's try and teach her about that being kind of bad. Okay, she's sadistic in way. I mean, okay. That's not the greatest influence we can have on a child there. Our mercenary contract is expiring. We're not going to extend it for sure. They can just leave. Thank you for your service. You tried your best, but, you know. King Constantine the Wise of Ireland likes a position. Oh, he's actually very wise. And our son becomes a... Ooh, a siege master. Decent one. I don't care. So do we land there and attack or do we go elsewhere to get some money out of this? I think we'll just attack down here. And a new learning lifestyle. Level of devotion impact, 100%. Let's go. We have the full level of devotion anyway. So we get... Yep. Our son just died. And we get critical stress. So our son and heir... Has died from his internal injuries. <laughs> no. Alright. Who's good? Who's next? Okay. Faisal. Ibn Faisal. Son of Faisal. Please step up. Uh, who's our next heir now? You? No, your son and vassal. Wait. Is it a grandson now? Oh boy, it's a grandson. Um, 
Education focuses stewardship. Let us get you guardianship. Let me let me teach you the ways of the world. Oh boy. And we'll make a little Dorothy here. So what does that mean for our succession? Not much. We're just using losing the petty kingdom of Wessex. Which is okay to lose. Because we don't have a lot to lose, so... We're not actually losing all that much. Um, can we even change this at all? I don't think so. We need limited crown authority, which... We don't have enough prestige to do. <laughs> a little dab it? Nah, let's, let's have a little Samuel here, our, our very own little son. Good stuff. Let's put him on martial focus as well. And... Let's see, alliance power, what can we do here? Duchy of Lombardy with our granddaughter. Our son and our granddaughter. <laughs> Um, sure. I think we're already quite allied here. We could go for an internal one or the Duchy of Barcelona. Which is also not too shabby. Nothing to scoff at. Wait, are you not part of that? How did you break free from Frankia? That's kind of crazy. I mean, we'll go for that. Doesn't matter. I don't... Sometimes I... I actually don't quite know why it passed on to our grandson and not to our son. son like the next, sec, next son in line. Couldn't really tell you. Something I don't quite understand myself, I must admit. So didn't we get like a cool little son who's really good at stuff? Including sieging. There he is. Let's go. The prince can lead the troops. Oh, what happened to our ally? Oh, they just switched sides. On the Strait of Otranto. Okay, then. We're here to make money. Quad Granger keeps falling because I can't really afford keeping it up, so... What can you do? 21 gold, 41 gold, 34, so we definitely go where the money is. For sure, and since there's no fort between us and that, or rather we have a direct line to this here with the border, we don't actually lose anyone to attrition direct. What is the Byzantine Empire doing? I deserve to be punished for everything? Yes. Let's indulge in some flagellation here. And successful wound treatment. We are no longer wounded. With that guy in charge here, that's really good for us. Let's repair this. Honestly, we should probably repair everything. While it's still affordable. Oh, The pains. Let's repair the Big and good stuff first, maybe. Like, we don't even have that equipped. The Ballad of something something. So we'll just destroy that. Get some money back. We don't have these raw antlers equipped. Glory Hound Vassal Opinion plus three. We'll just equip the new raw antlers. Actually, we don't have any of these equipped. Because they're actually not quite good, so. We'll take all the row antlers. And fix our wolf fangs and gemstones instead. Alright, very good. We've also taken prisoners in the siege, which might be something we can ransom, but it doesn't look like it. We're being raided, but I think one of our vassals is going to take care of it. Okay. Should he be trusting? Diplomacy intrigue. 
Opinion of vassals, opinion of liege, that doesn't matter at all. Uh, let's see, we want to have him something better. Content is horrible. No, actually. That's not, that's not so bad. Fickle isn't super great. He's going for stewardship, so I think we'll just leave him on trusting. Not ideal, mind, but... Would be worse. The fact that she's half naked and in the process of bodily defiling my favorite embroidered cloak tells me that this is in fact exactly what it looks like. Um, how could you? We imprison her. Who are you? You're a guest in my house. I never realized you could do that. We could become a deviant and lose 185 thrifts. I mean, again, we're old. So we have two secrets. We're a witch and we're a deviant. This is something someone could discover and use against us. It's something you should dis... You know, make a make an informed choice on whether or not you want that. But at this age, this guy is not going to live all that much longer. So who cares? That's the fun thing about getting older. Once you look death into the eyes, it's like, okay, come at me, bro. Oh, look at that. I seize the healing water of Messina. Stress gain, minus 10%. That's not a lot, but it's a cord artifact, so... We do have a nice little space for it, I think. Wait, isn't it? Oh, it isn't. <laughs> but we might be able to reforge it, aren't we? Reforge or repair? We cannot reforge it. And we cannot destroy it. We do have a court physician. Oh god, I put it up on accident. I mean... Sure, let's take the extra stress reduction. Why not? Why not? And let's destroy this thing. Just so I don't feel like I should do using it. Should be using it. Should we repair it? Yeah, sure. Why not? Murder holes and priest holes. Um, series of spying holes. Always wished for a room in which I could panic undisturbed. Perfect. But I think our deviant secret destroyed all of our stress, so it doesn't really matter. We could just go for any of these. All-star scheme success chance minus 15%. Hidden escape passage will do. We'll take it. 70 gold. Let's see. Maybe these ransoms here will pay for it. Well, for parts of it. So, Court Grandia is pushed back a little bit. And we're being raided yet again. But with these smaller raids, our vassals keep taking care of it. So, that's nice. So made some 30 gold down here through our sieging efforts. Call to war. Against two? Okay. That's somewhere over here. Alright. I mean, our war contribution here is done. So once we've taken what we want, we can just... Ship on over here and siege some stuff around Barcelona because there's a lot of money to be had here, isn't there? It's a fairly enough rich region. Let's continue. Gift and artifact. Did we get something or that thing went away too quick? 
Ah, the Pope is being swayed. Good stuff. So we finished this siege. I mean, there's 21 gold here to be had. It's right there. And we can help our little ally a little bit more. I'm not going to fight the Byzantine army. No. Our, our daughter loves us unconditionally. Every parent dreams about this. I'm the worst ally. Always am. Okay, he's very good at it. He's intelligent. And Midas touched. Yeah, sure. How is our development doing anyway? Prince Antoninus. My beloved son. Serve me well. Thanks for coming by. Haven't seen you in a while. So our development here is doing quite okay. 20. We're back up to where we were in our last capital. Of course, we're nowhere near of uh, those pillars, those beacons of enlightenment out here in the world, but that's okay. I think we might want to help them once fighting the Byzantines. Another artifact see seized. Nice. Which is just some, some some gemstones. Oh, we also... Oh, 75 gold from this siege. Yes. So these gemstones aren't very great, but it doesn't matter. Because they give you 40 gold. I mean, it's money in the bank. So far, I think we have actually made a little bit of money here. Let's make some more. Okay, let's see if our ally actually wants to help fight here. Or if we are running into the Byzantine army without any support. Our daughter becomes an insightful thinker. It's fair enough. And they can now marry. And they are, so... Our beloved little daughter is now empress in her own right. Who the hell? What the hell? Why is our princess looking like this? Oh my good god. Inappetetic. I've never seen that one before. Typhus. Physician wants to know, uh, yet she might survive. Death lingers close by her bedside. Choice is up to my daughter. Now, drastic measures. Let's go. Ah, he failed. Never do that again, my boy. I mean, he has treated us well so far. So, well, what can you say? Now, will our ally join us here? You want to make... Artisan, nah. I need a, I need an armor. Once we get an armor up in here, we're all for it. Okay, will you come and attack or... And we outlive yet another child. Oh boy, she, she didn't look good anymore. Okay, let's put someone in who's actually good at fighting. This guy, he has been... Doing well for us. He was a peasant leader, if you can remember. And the Byzantines were beaten in battle. Incredible. So now we can go siege some stuff here. Maybe get a little bit of gold out of it. I mean, we might win this one. That one over there is kind of lost because we never arrived. <laughs> we never even tried to go there. Uh, 
Thank you for bringing this to my attention. We are more vigilant for the foreseeable future because someone is trying to kill us indeed. So very good thing we built those uh, escape passages and stuff. What can we do? Let's go seclude ourselves. Truly at peace. We'll go hold some mystical communion. It's also pretty good. And we're going to indulge in drink, maybe. Now we need some prestige in case there's a war that we want to fight. Let's go with the convert thing. Okay, we didn't really get anything out of that siege because we just freed it from our allies' occupation, so it's not really the same. Oh no, we lost this war? What a shame. So we can fight them again because we're not at the 50% maximum of one battles in this war. And we'll win again. Because, interestingly enough, our troops are actually better than his. And now he has won, and we are done, and we caught a nice little... <gasps> we caught two dukes. 200 gold in the last battle. Oh, thank you. Sometimes Lady Luck absolutely smiles on you. Our grandson can get married. Um... Okay. Let's go with some of all skills. That's generally where you find the good ones. So, what is he? 19? Let's get you this Slovian girl here. It's not good for him, but... Let's see. Some of all skills. I mean, the giant tests might not be bad either. And what can we get you? At this point, it doesn't really matter anymore. Let's give her someone with inheritable traits. Can, like, slowly start working on that. Get you this uh, Herculean lad. And our little granddaughter Mechtild here also gets a matrilineal one. And maybe we go with the beautiful dude. Intelligent. Mm. Why are all the intelligence so old? Let's just get you the French lad here. With the hail Amazonian. There's some good potential stock in there. I'm really quite afraid of succession. Mainly for losing all of our alliances. And for having betrothed everyone to everything elsewhere. We could use our Frankish allies to start a war that we wouldn't win without them. We could imprison our patriarch. Disgracefully but skillfully. I have caught him in the act. Nobody would have win. What, what is he doing? Defraud the realm. Teach me to forge documents and I will show you mercy. <laughs> uh, those funds are meant for me, right? Uh, so our county, our main county, would get holding taxes minus 40%. Uh, that's a lot of money we are losing out potentially. So instead we're going to go with improved. And he goes straight into the dungeons. 
And we got a new lad here who is very good and he likes us a lot. So this guy... Let's see, we could blackmail him to do what? Just get the hook there. And you don't need to do anything really. What you need to do, honestly, is... Let me see, let me think. Mm. Yeah, court physician is what we need you to be. Oh. Yeah, both are... The, these are all average here. Adventurer, wise woman, traveler. I think we'll go with her. Diligent, just, and cynical. Calm, humble, diligent. I mean, both of these are kind of good, but she's younger, so she's going to do that longer. And they both average, so, you know. Fine enough. Oh, antiquarian. He's poor at his job. Do we have someone average? Oh, perfect. She's also average at that. So I have this hook on him now. I don't think we can really do anything with it. Doesn't really matter. Could execute him. But that would be an act of tyranny. And we're not a tyrant. We will not become a tyrant in our old age. I don't think. All right, go. We'll ransom him out for 50 gold. I'll take it. Gregory stays shy or he becomes craven. Okay, shy or craven. That's great. That's that's not even an option, to be quite honest. Likelihood of dying in battle minus 50%. I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> Ah, uh, let's keep him shy. We are shy. Makes some sense. And I think, honestly, we're going to leave it here for today. I think we, we've accomplished enough and we're still not dead. So next time is probably going to be some uh, succession thing going on, which is always a little bit stressful. And I'd rather face that with a little bit of a clearer mind. But we could, at the very least, uh, start building some more stuff. So... Let's upgrade stuff here, earn some more money. And that's all we're gonna do. Can't afford any of that, or we rather can't build it yet because we don't have the burst innovation. And I don't wanna upgrade this because we uh, might still lose it in succession at some point soon. So with the 560 gold war chest, I'm also kinda comfortable. More so than with a much smaller one, especially since we're on zero prestige at the moment. So we need to uh, work on that, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching over on Twitch, we'll see each other again on Monday. Uh, if you're catching this before the new year is up, I wish you a very happy new year. Um, a lot of health and joy. And if you're watching this over on YouTube, thank you so much. I wish you the very same. And I hope to see you around the next one. Until then. Have a great day and a great 2024. Until then, bye-bye.